Bonjour. Today we're going to talk about the second part of le vocabulaire des vêtements. So go ahead and watch or rewatch the first part if you haven't yet, because some of these words are repeats, but we do have a lot of new ones in here. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Emmanuel Macron put un costume. Un costume, ça veut dire suit. Um, We've talked about this briefly in class before, but if you're trying to say a costume, like a Halloween costume, or if you're dressing up as a character or something, that would be un déguisement. In this case, un costume refers to a suit. Il porte un costume noir. Et il porte une cravate. Il porte une cravate bleue. Cravate, in this case, should be pointing to the tie. Ici, Alama Bangu put une écharpe, a scarf, une écharpe. Et il put une blouson. Blouson is like a jacket. Last time we talked about uh, manteau, which is more of a coat or maybe a more fancy jacket, like would come with a suit. But if we're talking about like a jean jacket or a light jacket, we'd go with the word une blouson. Aussi, il porte un chapeau et il porte des lunettes. Ici, Tony Parker porte une casquette. Um, last time we talked about the word, or even just in the last slide, we talked about the word un chapeau for a hat. You could also call this un chapeau, and you wouldn't be wrong, but the more specific phrase for it would be une casquette. Talks about specifically this baseball cap style of hat. Il porte une chemise. Une chemise is a shirt. We talked about t-shirt last time, but usually if we see a collar, and especially if we see buttons, we'll be more likely to call it in French une chemise. Et il porte une montre. This is a fun one. Montrer as a verb, we've talked about means to show. And what does a watch do? It shows you the time. So in French, we call it une montre. Ici, Timothy Chalamet put une ceinture, a belt. Il porte une pantalon. Il porte une chemisier. Chemisier, a little different than chemise, which is a little different than une t-shirt. We have a lot of words for the same thing. If you mix them up, don't sweat it. People will understand what you're saying. Just for the purpose of being specific, une chemisier is more like a blouse. So something that is more of a dress shirt in this case. Et il porte une blouson. Ici, Coco Chanel porte une maillot de bain. Une maillot de bain, ça veut dire a swimsuit. Et ici, Brigitte Pado porte des gants, gloves, des gants. Des autres phrases utiles, some other useful phrases that you might want to know when we're talking about clothing in French. Est-ce que ça va avec mon pull? Ça va avec. Ça va on its own, we know is a way to ask how are you or how is it going. But ça va avec is like asking does it go with. So if we say est-ce que ça va avec mon pull, that's like asking does this go with my sweater. You could also say est-ce que ce pantalon va avec mes chaussures. Do these pants go with uh, my shoes? And if you're asked that question, there's a few ways you could answer, depending on who you're talking to, maybe only one way. Um, first would be, oui, ça va avec ton pull. So, ça va avec means it goes with. Or you could say, no, ça ne va pas, or ce pantalon ne va pas avec tes chaussures. So, no, it doesn't go with. Another phrase you'll see a lot is, c'est du bon marché. Du bon marché, ça veut dire inexpensive, like a good find. Okay. Um, 
in English, a lot of times we describe things as cheap. Uh, in French, sometimes in English, but for sure in French, that really carries a connotation of bad craftsmanship. So we'd always talk about something being inexpensive or a good find or a good bargain rather than calling it cheap, which would be more of an insult. Or you could say c'est cher, ça c'est l'opposé, it's expensive. Cher is a trickier word. Bon marché will always be bon marché. Um, but share can take on a few different forms. If we're describing something feminine, par exemple, la ceinture est chère. We add another E at the end, and we add an accent over that first E. If we wanted to make it plural from there, we just add an S at the end. Par exemple, les chaussures sont chères. So the shoes are expensive. If we have something that's masculine but plural, we just need to add an S to the end of the original word. So les gants sont chers, the gloves are expensive. Lastly, a helpful question that you might hear a lot if you're ever shopping in a French speaking store. Qu'est-ce que c'est ta taille? That would mean what is your size? You could say on la, en ma taille. On la, they have it on my taille, in my size. Or you could ask the question, avez-vous la taille? So do you have size? And then you could follow up with whatever description that is there. Bon. So go ahead and make sure you have all of these in your notes so we can have some good discussions about clothing and colors all together in French. Merci.